Uh, he used to live here actually, and um, he did some writing in that room over there, and um, and 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 uh, that was actually his study, um, and he wrote uh, on a computer. He he wrote his books there. That's right. Yeah. Uh, when he was uh, actually. Um, we were living together. He used to write also his first few books, uh, which were never published, mm. because uh, he he personally felt that a writer's first few books uh, should not be published because there's too much individual uh, individualism in them. So he used to uh, work after dinner, go to his study, and uh, start on his books. Uh, he was very private about his writing. He didn't really tell us what he was writing about, um, and uh, but he used to write in the evenings. You know back in the day. <laughs> yeah. But he only started um, getting serious about his writing in his 60s. Yeah. Uh, actually, he told us stories every night. Um, there were about two girls from uh, a communist area. I think it was Russia or, or Siberia or something. <laughs> he, would, he would talk about these two children called Pollyanna and Juliana. And we would always be very keen to watch the ne uh, listen to the next episode. <laughs> of his stories every night. Yes, it's lovely. Good times, yes. Every Sunday he used to say, OK, uh, you guys choose where you want to go for lunch. So we used to choose Tim Sam restaurants, whatever we wanted. So one day uh, my, my youngest sister, Martine, she said, oh, I want to go to McDonald's. So he said, sure. So we all went to McDonald's. So he sipped on a milkshake with the two straws in it. And he said, well, this is like inhaling two cigarettes at once. <laughs> <laughs> the two straws. <laughs> My dad used to smoke, yes. yes, yes. And I, I, I also would like to reveal uh, that he used to have a glass of whiskey by his side when he, when he wrote. It helped him to, to uh, free his brain from the more creativity. And so a very strange uh, uh, mixer he had once, or one, uh, not once, more than once. He used to put milk in his whiskey. <laughs> Uh, that was that? Wow. that was uh, something which I was surprised about too, but yeah. it was something unique. He enjoyed it very much, yes, yes, yes. He, he told me once, he said, Michael, uh, this is going to kill me one day. <laughs> yeah, I remember those words very well. Yeah. Uh, he did cook, and uh, sometimes on Sunday evenings or whatever, he would cook beef and beer. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, a dish where he cooked beef, he fried the beef, and he put some beer inside. And uh, we used to love that drink, that 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 <laughs> that, 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 that dish. Yeah. yeah, beef and beer. As for his favorite foods, there's another one I forgot. Uh, it was the babi tauyu with the vinegar, the old, the old babi tauyu with the vinegar, and uh, we used to love that. A very strange thing happened when my family moved into this house. My wife had a craving for babi tauyu. So this may have come from the subconscious feelings of the house or something. So we bought some, or we, well, we cooked some, I can't, re I can't recall. So I thought that was uncanny. My father's spirit lives on very, very strongly. Yeah. He used to write on paper, physically write with a pen on paper. Now, the writers nowadays use notebooks, laptops, computers to write, as you know, and other, other medium. Now that was a bit of a challenge because somebody had to convert what he wrote into the written into the uh, digital format. Mm. So my mum used to do that at first, and then uh, after that, um, one of my cousins took over. The, the cousin uh, I can't remember which cousin it was, but uh, uh, she she or he I can't recall helped to do the um, actual. Um, uh, Converting of the books from written format to digital format. Yeah. Uh, later in life, he actually used Word Star, and um, the, the the program Word Star is Word Star is actually obsolete now, um, as as we all know. But I, as I am also in the IT business, I am the one who supplied my father with his computer, and um, I remember him telling me to put WordStar into his computer and um, he did it, he put it, he wrote his, his articles um, on WordStar, WordStar for Windows, yeah. On the personal side, um, Dad was a private person, um, he wanted to live alone, I tried to 
tell him that um, let's all live together as a family. But he, he preferred to actually live by himself. And um, that was tough for the family because he actually, um, you know, he was getting older and all that. And we wanted him to be Are you sorry about that? No, it's okay. It must be hard to remember. Yes, we wanted him to be a part of the family, but he chose to uh, stay alone, so uh, we accepted that. Yeah. yeah. Loved him very, very much, yes, because he was a very good father. He even did films when he was younger. I forgot to mention that. Nowadays it's different. Nowadays you've got handphones, you've got lots of videos. But in those days, my time, um, it was quite rare actually yeah, to have that, to have a documentation of your life when you were when you were young, when you were like in your from from baby sta baby steps. So he made actually films about like like my sister was a fairy, and they were and he made effects and he made. I'll try to find that one for you. It's lovely, yes, we used to do that, yeah. We used to enjoy ourselves very. We had a very, very, very good childhood and yeah, thanks dad and mum for that.